Okay, this part of the form defines the central line. The imaginary line that's here and here, and incrementally all the points in between. The center line never changes because it divides the body in half. So, generally speaking, if we do a Wu Da, Wu in the center, punch on the central line. Wu in the center, punch on the center line. So if a punch comes to my head, I cover the center, punch on the central line. So this enables me to use two arms at the same time. I would tongue in the center, punch on the central line. So if a punch came to the side of my head, I tongue and strike. My body's behind the strike this way. So come over here for a second, do the punch to the side of my head. If I just turned a little bit and he looped, this punch would hit me. Plus, push, do it again, push through. I can't support that. So if he's a bigger person, I need to have my body behind the block. So if he pushes, it goes here, down into the floor. He can push all he wants, he can't push. Push my arm out of the way. So I block here. So if you do the a round punch, I do a view sound. I can view in the center, punch in the central line. So that would look like this. View sound, punch. View sound, punch. But if he did that and I did this, do it again. If I turn this way, he can have a friend standing behind me, and I've got my back exposed to another attacker. So I can also view on the central line. So I can view on the central line, strike, or whatever I want to do from there, such as the other hand. I can view on the central line, right? If I turn this way, it's good. I can hit at the same time, but there's someone behind me, maybe, all right? So we can punch. So generally speaking, we block the center, strike on the central line, okay?